Hi guys, in this video I'm going to go through some of the code that I used for creating Snake and Pygame. To speed things up a bit, I've pre-populated some of the code for it and I'm going to explain what it all means. So first of all, I import my Pygame module, I initialize Pygame, and after that I set up a game window. So I define the screen width and screen height variables uh, which are set in pixels. Having defined that, I then create my screen using pygame.display.setMode. So this takes the screen width and screen height variables and it creates a game window. And then I give that game window a caption, so I just call it snake. After that, I create the game loop. So this is done in a while loop, and I give it a condition that it starts off true, and this essentially means that the code is just going to keep running until I give it a condition that sets that to false, and that allows us to exit the game. And that condition initially comes in the form of an event handler. So when Pygame processes any events, we have to iterate through each one of them. By iterating through each event, I then compare it to a certain condition. So in this case, the only event I'm looking for is pygame.quit, which is when the exit button is clicked on the game window. So as soon as that condition is met, I set run to false which is now going to kick me out of this loop and process the final line, pygame.quit, and that ends the game. So the only other line of code there that I've added is to display, uh, or rather to update the display. Essentially what this does is that while initially I create a display, through this while loop, I'm going to be constantly making changes and updating the screen. So this line here takes all those changes and it actually displays them and it shows them on the screen. So I'm going to execute the code just to see what it looks like. And it shows up a blank game window, 600 by 600 pixels, with a title up here. So the next thing I want to do is begin defining some of my functions. So the first one I want to define is, at the moment, that's just a blank screen. So I want to have a function that says define draw screen. And at the moment, all that's going to do is just give me a background color. So I'll come up here and I'll define some colors. And I'm going to say background equals, and this is RGB, so I'll say 255, 200, and 150. And then I can come back into my draw screen function and call screen, uh, which is my game window, dot fill. So it's just going to fill the entire screen with the background color. Now I take that function and I add it to my while loop, draw screen. If I rerun the game now, I still get the same window, but I have this background color to it now. So the next step is to create the actual snake. To simplify it, uh, you can look at the snake as a bunch of individual segments, and each of those segments has its own coordinates on the screen. So I'm going to use a list to store the position of each of these segments and that's going to allow me to easily update the list as the game goes on. So for example, when the snake eats food and it grows, all I do is add an extra item to that original snake list and that tracks the coordinates of the new segment that's been created. So I'm going to create the snake up here, but before I do, I'm going to define some initial game variables. And the only one I need for now is a cell width. The, the reason for this is that I want to split the whole game screen into individual cells and I need to give them all a size. So I'm going to call each one 10 pixels. So this is how big my individual snake segments are going to be and this is how big the food is going to be. So with that defined, I can create the snake itself. And for this, I'm going to use a, a list. I'm going to call that snake pause. And this is going to be a list which is itself going to be another list. So within each of these lists I'm going to have the x and the y coordinates of that particular uh, segment. So the first one I just want to start off right in the middle of the screen. So I'm going to use int so that I don't get any decimal points, I don't get any floats. Screen width, div uh, width divided by 2. So that's going to put it right in the middle on the x coordinate and int screen height divided by 2 and that'll be right in the middle on the y coordinate. So that's going to create the head, and now I just want to create a few body segments. So I'm going to put them 
in the same X position, but I'm going to move them along in the Y position. So it's going to give me uh, a vertical snake. The reason I'm using a list and one of the useful functions is I can just use snake position dot append and feed in my next list or rather the, the next coordinates into that. And all that's going to do is add it onto the end of the existing snake pause list. And it's just going to mean that I can throughout the game as the snake eats the food and gets longer, I can just keep using this function to add more and more segments to it. So the second position that I want to append is going to be in the same X coordinate and more or less the same Y coordinate, except I want this to be moved down by my cell size variable. So that's what I'm going to just add cell size. I'll copy this down to a couple more positions all in the same X coordinate, but now I can say cell size times two and cell size times three. So it's going to be 10, 20, and 30. So it's just going to give me segments one below the other. And I'll just run this code just to double check there's no typos. Uh, no, that's all coming up fine and there's no errors there. So now I can draw the actual snake. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to define a couple more colors. I want to set two colors for the snake segments. I want an outer and an inner color, and that's just going to mean that I can get almost uh, kind of like a, a shading or a border outside the segments to, to give it a bit more texture. So I'll say body, inner, uh, and these are colors that I'd used uh, when I originally coded the game. So I'm just going to type them out. Body outer was 100, 100, and 200. So now with these defined, I can come down here and just before I update my display, I'm going to draw the snake. Draw snake. And I'm going to draw that by iterating through the snake positions list. I'm going to take, it's going to give me an X and a Y. And using an X and Y, I'm just going to draw a rectangle using those two colors that I defined up here. I'll say for X in snake pause. And I'll use pygame.drawRect. So this will draw a rectangle on my screen. The color that I want for the first rectangle is body outer. So I draw the outer one first and then I draw the inner one inside it. If I do the other way around, it's only going to show the outer because it's going to be bigger. Now I feed in an X and a Y coordinate because this X here is just going to be the first row or the first entry in the snake pause list and, and so on as it iterates. It's going to give me an X and a Y coordinate. So if I say X0, that's going to be my X coordinate. And X1 is going to be my Y coordinate. And then I can give it a width and a height, which I've already defined before, which is just cell size. So each snake is going to be, or each snake segment is going to be 10 pixels by 10 pixels. I can now copy this down and draw the inner square. It's going to start in the same positions, but because I want it inside the other square, I'm just going to add a plus one pixel to the start and a minus two pixel to the end. Okay, and now I'm just going to run it again to check. And there we go. I've got the initial snake, the four segments, and they're all positioned vertically, uh, like I'd added them up here. But what I liked in the previous code was having a different color for the head of the snake. And I'm going to add that in now. First of all, I'm going to define that color. And it was just red. So I'm just going to say red is 25500. And I'm going to come into this function here, or this uh, for loop. And I'm going to define head equals 1 to start with. And I'll explain. I'll do it first, and I'll explain what I'm doing. So if head is 0, i.e. if we're drawing the tail segments, then execute the function, or execute the the code just as I had it previously, so draw those green squares. If, however, the head equals one, therefore I am drawing the head segment, well, I'm gonna do the same code, but when I come to draw the inner square, I'm gonna call the red color instead. And at the end of this, because I've now drawn the head, I can reset that and say head equals zero. So I'll just run this to check, and there we go got the snake set up and at least now it's visible which part is the head and you know which way it's heading. So the next thing to do is to add 
some keyboard controls and to be able to actually move the snake around and to add some code that's going to update the snake as it moves. Uh, that's going to take a little bit longer, so I'm going to do it in a separate video. So I'm going to wrap this one up for now. Uh, I hope that was useful, and uh, thanks for watching.